Hi again, welcome to, uh, normally it's a garage, but this time it will be a dining room. Uh, I'm still up here. Got a special request from uh, folks at Banggood. They asked me if I would want to test this uh, laser engraver. I said, oh, maybe. So I was, you know, like, uh, not, I'm not familiar with those things. And I say, that's going to be lots of problems. And I'm just going to have to go in CAD CAM and uh, learn all kinds of new stuff. And it's going to make me lose lots of time. But I said, uh, let's see if I can go somewhere. I got it, said they shipped it to me. And normally, it always comes in the box. And, uh, oh, I'm, let's say, saying that people watching this channel are clever enough to open a box, look in the box, empty a box, and no unboxing. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. If you want to see unboxing videos, lots of other channels do it. And, uh, you just go there and enjoy the unboxings. <laughs> okay, uh, I want to just specify that this was given to me for evaluation. I didn't pay for this unit. Uh, that doesn't go not going to change much of my appreciation about it. Only the fact that I have to really do a review about it and uh, try to be as fair as possible. Um, so the assembly and instructions. The uh, only thing that's uh, paper besides the uh, wrapping in this box is this little cardboard. It's made by Elex Maker, they say. And there's a little part there, uh, Elex Maker software as an instructions. You just go to that uh, website and they will give you um, pictures. And all the uh, steps, uh, I was kind of appreciating a little bit the, uh, say, just pictures and no, uh, no many, uh, you know, not many comments or whatever, but uh, just by the pictures, the screws, uh, they just tell you what, how many screws and what size of screws to put on what part. Uh, pictures are well done. Uh, the order of the assembly is pretty, uh, I would say, rather, uh, rather uh, very uh, simple. I came up to everything but the wiring. Easy. Um, after that, there is not much explanation about the wiring. You have to guess a little bit by going to another page, but finally, it's pretty straightforward. Ended up uh, connecting first shot, everything in there. Uh, stepper motors, the, uh, you know, not many wires, the, uh, the wire for the uh, laser control. The wires from this uh, first Y-axis uh, stepper motor. There's another uh, motor driven in parallel. Those two driven in parallel to, you know, drive the uh, ca carriage evenly. This one, the x-axis, is driven by one single stepper motor. One cable for the USB, one cable and the uh, power adapter, and that's about as uh, straightforward as it gets. Um, took me about two and a half hours, maybe three hours, to assemble this. I had not really uh, much previous experience about uh, building those things, but everything went pretty straightforward. After you got this up, you need to load the software, which is called uh, LX Maker Evolution Desktop. It's always, uh, once you get you know, to the instructions, they'll lead you to uh, what software to load. It's a little bit less obvious, but it will uh, eventually work pretty good. So um, it's uh, basic software. It's not something very elaborate, though. When once Nig got into is uh, when I wanted to try to first print the, uh, you know, say the sample little uh, bitmap drawings in there. The uh, thing was I was getting laser power, but I wasn't getting any move on this, uh, you know, on the on the carriages. The uh, la the um, sorry, the um, stepper motors wouldn't budge. So I had to look. I went other places. I didn't have to go that far. On some uh, frequently asked questions, they were uh, discussing this. Uh, this thing and saying that uh, you need a US system onto your uh, windows to really this you know to get, get the instruction no not the instructions but to get the uh, table working so install the US systems and uh, everything was working pretty good so on the software you can load the uh, bitmaps there have they had a few samples there which uh, I got I uh, got printed uh, very straightforward this is uh, uh, you call that uh, press wood. It's uh, you know, that's a wood mash with glue or something pressed together, making the uh, you know, these kind of uh, you know, holders for uh, papers. Um, easy enough, and you know it does like uh, those little things about uh, 
10 to 15 minutes upon depending upon the sizes. Uh, one thing about uh, uh, l doing some uh, laser burning, because it burns the surface, I suggest that you get yourself a little hood or a little enclosure around or a little shroud to uh, remove the, uh, the, the fumes from this because this will uh, smoke up a house pretty badly. If the wife does it, I guess it's all right, but if you do it, then maybe she's not going to like it as much as uh, she do it herself. So I uh, suggest you uh, get the fumes out with the vacuum cleaner or something. Now, what, uh, what, will, it, uh, what will it burn? It will burn... Uh, you know, this is uh, not. It's uh, it's above. It's above paper. It's some kind of a you know envelopes that uh, carriers use. Like the here, it's pure later. It's for uh, you know big documents. It's uh, easy. You got lots of reserve on there because it's uh, quite soft stuff. It leather, and it does a very nice job also in leather. These are uh, vector, uh, you know, vectorial letters, and uh, I mean it's very clean, very nice, and it quite fast also for this type of uh, printing. Bitmaps are going to be a little bit longer. Uh, you need to print something on wood. This is a solid maple, about a quarter of an inch, about six millimeters. Uh, you need to get you know, the letters in there. You can go deeper, you can go darker, you can go lighter, depending upon the adjustment. You, you can adjust the speed, you can adjust the intensity of the beam, and they will give you like uh, this size here that uh, few trials and errors that uh, you know like see how how you know how what whatever is possible to be uh, doing with this uh, little device there and uh, other features of the uh, software is you can um, have vectorial letters that you can just like print on different uh, materials also you got uh, G code if you get another CAM program or a CAD program and you can produce a G code file for an, uh, an X and Y uh, access machine. You can produce those codes and down, uh, um, not download, them, but uh, just send them to the software itself, which is uh, computer driven. So you put them to your software and they will make your, uh, let's say your uh, drawings or uh, your carvings, whatever you, you design them to be. Uh, possibilities of a uh, two and a half watts laser. This is a uh, you know uh, LED laser. It's uh, not meant to burn metal. It's not meant to burn stones, glass, ceramics, or something uh, those uh, those kinds. It's not first. It's not the right kind of laser for metal, and it's not powerful enough. Um, on this unit, you can put uh, more powerful uni uh, laser units too. This is a two and a half watts, and I know there is available up to uh, 15 watts. And uh, let's say for small jobs, two and a half watts is pretty good. For 15 watts, you'll have to move pretty fast, and uh, it's going to give you, you know, seven and a half, seven times the power. This uh, it's starting to be a little bit meaningful. As I want to make this evaluation as uh, short and as uh, interesting as possible without getting into very boring details, um, I would say for myself the experience was a very positive experience. I expected to have. Uh, you know, lots of frustrations and uh, not being able to achieve, uh, you know, something, you know, quite uh, simple like that, just as, a, you know, at, uh, very fast. I was expecting to lose a lot of time about it and get, and really get frustrated. But uh, with it, just a few snags, a few, a few little things I had to wonder and just uh, worry about. But uh, simple enough, I started to do those drawings after, uh, you know, not, not that much time. I was... Uh, very pleased and uh, was uh, you know very uh, encouraged to continue I'll be using that little device for uh, future projects I do as a Muslim I, I mainly do machining projects but uh, for enhancements and uh, you know special uh, creations I'll be using this and I uh, so far I enjoyed it so um, if you want to get uh, just like me uh, started into this field it's a uh, laser engraving. It can uh, the experience you get with this laser engraving, you can get it with the, uh, different uh, kinds of engravers. So, uh, if you get this machine for uh, 250 bucks or so, you just check the price of the day because sometimes they make specials or things like that. So, uh, just Banggood is pretty good for making good specials. So keep your eyes open. I'll give the link into the description box down. It will give you. Uh, direct access to this product exactly the same thing as uh, I got 
So far, like I say, I've been satisfied and a uh, very good entry-level machine. As you may want to do, uh, keep your project simple. It will last you for a long time. Uh, if you outgrow it because your projects get bigger and you want uh, more possibilities, you can always pass it on to someone. I'm sure it'll still be good. And you'll be able to uh, upgrade to more powerful machines. And it won't cost you uh, an arm and a leg to just discover if you like it or not, or if, you're, uh, you know, if it's a viable uh, option for you. Maybe as a final uh, you know, request that I could do uh, is uh, it's if you ever get one of those little engravers, let me know how it turns out for you, uh, if your experience was uh, positive or whatever you uh, discover about this. Uh, it helps me to promote uh, better products. If, if products that I believe they're good and uh, they're good, I mean, I'm happy with, uh, you know, saying that's a good product and making a good review about it. If, but if a product is bad or something, and I, there are things that I haven't seen or uh, whatever, uh, whatever turned out uh, not right. Just let me know, so and I'll do some corrections. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to push products that I wouldn't buy myself. So, uh, just uh, if you care to do, just I'll be happy to hear about your experiences. Mm -hmm.